Okay, so Ghana versus Nigeria Twitter squabble. That is beef. That is seasoned beef. That is correct beef. That is proper. That is jollof beef. Now, Ghana versus Kenya Twitter squabble. That is, um, let's say, salmon. Salmon, you know, yeah. But Ghana versus Uganda? Ghana versus Uganda? That's some dick. What the hell? Ugandans? Oh, please, we gotta quit tripping. That's some cabbage stew. That's some. That's not beef. That's cabbage stew. We gotta see how Ugandans are going to win against Ghanaians. No, it doesn't work that way. And my personal biases are going to reflect in this presentation. But it is what it is. Ugandans are what they are mismatched. Yo, quit tripping. Quit tripping. So yes. Now to the matter that I'm about to talk about. Um, Uganda versus Ghana, then they trend on Twitter, you understand? I don't know what <laughs> unemployment and COVID-19 has done to the youth, you understand? Because day in and out, we see unnecessary, <laughs> unnecessary things online, they trend on, the, on that Twitter app. So yes, um, Uganda and Ghana, the Twitter community, then they fight, giddy, giddy, then they slander them about the left dry center. So yes. As the chairman of the Comment Readers Association, as usual, I have come to your um, alacrities of the conundrum to present to you or to um, read you some of the tweets or some of the comments people are passing um, in this Uganda versus Ghana beef, you understand. So yes, pick your plastic chairs, bring your popcorn. If you get Cheerio too or if you get Gary or anything, Dokunun Kinky, come and sit down and let us enjoy the alacrities of some of the comments. Let's go! Now, this one is from at the SL guy. You, yeah, at the SL guy. Uganda gain independence through online hookups. I don't blame them. Mwah. Oh, <laughs> Charlie. Hashtag Uganda versus Ghana. Um, this one is from the same, um, that SL guy. Ah, richest money in Uganda is valued 192,300 and what something, something shillings. If, if you convert Camp Ghana CD inside, it'll be 300 CD spare. Ooh. Oh God! Oh, oh, <laughs> Charlie. So this one is from I think this one is from a guy from Uganda. I said our currency looks like the Pentecostal Crusade banner, and I mean it came with a picture of the two hundred Ghana cities. No, if we, if we melt this money, that is like some some this money someone can use it to buy a car in Uganda. Stop tripping. Mm -hmm. And this one is from a Ugandan guy also. He say, 70-year-old Ugandan versus 70-year-old Ghanaian. Then he has a picture of a young man and a picture of an old man. Ugh. Anything for the point, you know. Anything for the point. Um, this is from um, at Ken Bleko. A Ugandan after what? Withdrawing money from an ATM. <laughs> and this one, it came with a, a picture of a man. I don't know what he's looking for in the ATM. You understand yeah um so yes this one is from adenta z you say uganda police versus ghana police don't bring yourself any this is a picture of a police car and on, on your right is a picture of like charlie them line up some long cruises then so charlie ghana the top tier anyway so this one is from um he sent to go I say a tycoon in Ghana versus a common local hustler in Uganda. It has a picture of a guy. Um, yes, another guy, you understand. Well, let's move on. This one is from at Mr. Underscore Sarah. I say, Slay Queens in Uganda look like the bed in the in their flag. Yeah, and it's okay with a picture, a picture of a Uganda. I don't know if the person is from Uganda or something, but yeah, the hairstyle, they look alike. Uh, this one is from at Kofi Man. He said, if Ugandan girls swallow magnet, they still won't be attractive. Oh my. Okay, hold on. Give me a minute. <laughs>
It's over, bro. It's over, bro. This is it. We done. You see what I've been saying? They can't, bro. They can't out battle Ghanaians when it comes when it comes to these things, bro. We we do this. This is like our daily bread, bro. You can't look at that. If Ugandan girls swallow magnet, they will still won't be attractive, bro. Man, shit. This, this shit is some cold ass shit, bro. And this one is from um Rasta Kid. It said the world was at peace until Ghana got celebrities. And it has the picture of the banana na na the poor bearers, you understand? You they keep making jokes about them until you die. You come and dance as unto with your 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 destiny, your dead body at the funeral. This one is from Livia UG underscore. See, so all along, so all along, Ghana is a country. I thought it's some small state in Nigeria. Really? You are just a fool. Nah, we ain't taking this, bro. We ain't taking this. And this one is a picture of um, a pea cola. There is a pea cola in Ghana, yes. And it's a bottled in Ghana. And the guy tweeted, what the fuck is wrong with Ghana? Yeah, with some emojis and all those things. Yeah, the guy is from Uganda. And this one is from um, John Laban 256. The Ugandan people and their names, bro. What the? John Laban and sons. The only famous thing that has ever come out of Ghana is... He has the you people keep making jokes about the poor bearers, bro. You go and die, and you are coming to your funeral to come and dance. And I'm a goat, I'm a goat with your, your, your casket. Do you want it solemn, or do you want it a bit displayed, or maybe you want a small choreography on it? They just ask, and then we do it. Be fooling, yes. It has a picture of the um, the poor bearers, you know. So they say, um. The, these guys are the only famous guy that has ever come from this country. We know ball. No could move. Okay, so this guy is Ghanaian influencers versus Ugandan influencers. The guy couldn't even spell Ghanaian correctly. They think they are sensible and they keep on making mistakes. Ghanaian is not G H A N I A N. No. The, it's G H A N A I A N. If you are trying to come for us, try to spell the name correctly. You understand? This same, same thing that happened. When we the beef with Nigerian, they can't spell Ghanaian. Please, if you are coming for us, know how to spell that. Then, ah, please. So you are coming to a, a battle or a beef, and you don't even know how to spell the, the the name of the person you are going to beef with. Like, yo, bro, that is some L for you, bro. Anyway, so yes, this one is a picture of um, Ghana police. You see, Ghana officers on duty, and they are all sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> this one, yeah, you be like the girl we. And this one is it was seen somewhere in Ghana at okay. This one is from at Ari Ari Dice Ebra the Ugandans. I say yes, it was seen somewhere in Ghana, Stamford Bridge. And yeah, it's a picture of a bridge and it has this Stamford Bridge thing emboldened on it. Yeah. Um so this this one is from Dre One. You see, I heard this can get you two plots of land in Uganda. It's five CD notes. <laughs> Good. You guys are so mean. Um, this one is a, from a parody account of the president of Ghana um, on Twitter. At Opress, he said, Op Opress, you said, it. He said, the presidential, uh, the presidential position in Uganda is equal to a gate man in Ghana. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, this one is from at Neba underscore D that day, he said, it. Ugandans come to Ghana and cut fingernail. That they return to the account. Charlie, bro, you. they return to the account as millionaires. Anyway, so yes, um, yes. So this is what is happening on um, on Twitter. My personal biases reflected in this presentation for a reason. You understand? There's no way Ugandans are going to out battle us when it comes to Twitter. They can, bro. They can't. We. See the Twitter community. We fought with Kenyans. We fought with Nigerians. Who? Who? Are, you know, go fit. If you're on Twitter, you can check out some of the tweets and all those things. So yes, the chairman of the Comments Readers Association has brought the job to an end. My name is Kujo Sheldon. Hey, wait! I have this video for you. Watch this video. <laughs> Mm. Boss, my nigga. Mm. 
birth. So this is basically what Stoneboy is saying. Um, he's saying he said Corona is real. So when you are going out, then make sure you wear your nose mask. Make sure you practice social distancing. Make sure you use um, hand sanitizers and all those things. You understand? And he ended the freestyle by saying he said the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless they transcend our boundaries. What I say, bars, bro. That was some some top tier delivery. Bars, my nigga. We who cross a deeper life crown I say are quite deep. Bars, my nigga. Shout to Stoneboy for this elevated piece of work. Acquire bars. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mapong.